All right, happy Wednesday, guys. I'm not really sure what happened to the video thing here, but I've also learned to not spend too much time messing with the technology and trying to get it to be perfect when that's not the, the focus. So here we go. It's Wednesday, and this is this is how I kind of feel about using my MacBook right now. I really don't want to see what's going on, but I'm going to figure it out. So. Today, vocabulary again, fluency work, um, your assignment, and independent, um, independently reading. So hopefully this routine um, you guys are starting to get into and it's starting to have a really good flow for you guys at this point in our distant learning. Success criteria, take a minute or two to look over that. And the only thing on here that's different, our goal today is reading that information about the past to determine how communication has changed over time. So yesterday, you guys were able to determine a way or try and figure out a way to communicate some information different from how you typically do it. And today we're just going to dig a little bit deeper in how communication has changed over time. And in order to do that and show your thinking and learning there, you guys are going to complete the 513 choice board number three assignment. Vocabulary is still there, your fluency rubric, what to do, and today you guys are going to be reading about the Pony Express. And if you don't know what the Pony Express is, um, it is super cool. Um, it was only for a short period of time in our history. Um, I, it, it's really cool. I, I read this for the first time last year, and like I knew about it, but I didn't know it only happened for such a short period of time in the big scheme of things. And then telephones now and then. How many of you guys have ever made one of those can telephones? We used to make them all the time when I was a kid, and we never really perfected it. So maybe you guys can um, try and do that at some point and see, see if it works. See how you can get it to work. Then you guys are off to independent reading. You have Pebble Go there as a resource. You guys can log on to Pebble Go whenever you want to for independent reading. It doesn't have to be um, a time when it coordinates with something that we're learning in school. You guys have um, access to that. So definitely, definitely use that. It's definitely engaging for you guys. Uh, and you're at the halfway part and I'm going to drive off in my car there. So questions, comments, anything you guys need, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. We are here 